Third Monday in January said to be the most depressing day of the year, a combination of post-Christmas blues, cold, dark winter nights, failing New Year's resolutions and the arrival of dreaded credit card bills. The uh, phrase Blue Monday was actually invented by a travel company to encourage people to book a summer holiday. But are the January blues a real medical condition or is it just that we're all feeling a little bit miserable at this time of year? Joined here in the studio by psychologist Honey Lancaster James. Hi, Hi, how are you? Nice Hi, to I'm see good. you. But before we speak to you, honey, let's uh, bring in Sir Carrie Cooper, who's running a pop-up in central London today. Jessie, you agree quite a lot with what we're hearing there? Um, yes, definitely in terms of the impact of kind of workplace stresses. But I think what's interesting is that we talk about it at this time of year. And certainly the original idea behind Blue Monday, yes, it came from a PR stunt. And now, you know, it tends to be one of those days of the year that actually just focuses us to think about mental health. And certainly there is a phenomena around this time of year. You mentioned it there, seasonal affective disorder, where some people, not everybody, but some people do seem to experience a kind of cyclical annual uh, drop in their mood and sometimes quite a serious depression at this time of year so sure. obviously that is there for some people but even other people who don't perhaps get it to that extent can identify with that kind of feeling in January once Christmas and why is, is it? done well I think there's a number of sort of psychosocial factors there there may be a physiological cause and, and we're not 100% sure what's behind that some people think it's it's related to the um, lower levels of light that we're exposed to yeah, some so people think yeah. yeah, related to vitamin D. But there are also psychosocial factors. So, for example, we know that women are more likely to report um, seasonal affective conditions around this time of year. It may be because Christmas itself is a very stressful time for many. It brings up lots of difficulties in the family for some people. It brings up financial problems for some people. And often around this time of year, that's when the whole reality of that sets in and the fun part has gone. So it can be sometimes related to that. But it's also a time of year when we typically go outside less, we perhaps get less exercise, we think that we've got an excuse to kind of stay in and have duvet days and eat junk food. And all of those things can also impact on our mood. So there are some sort of real phenomena behind the idea of January, or at least this time of year in the Northern Hemisphere, being depressing. OK, so what sort of uh, tips will you offer to people? I find January and February the worst months mm, of the year. It, me too. Particularly February, it rains all the flipping time. <laughs> drives me nuts. Um, January, uh, Christmas in your rearview mirror, uh, the light nights are so far away. So what I've done yeah. this year is I've organised with a group of friends to climb Ben Nevis at the end of this week, wow. end of January. So we've been talking about it, we've been planning it, we've been organising it and we've got a focus. Yeah. We've got something that we can anchor on to. Is that, is that a good thing to do or what would you suggest to our viewers? Um, definitely, it's always a good idea to have something positive on the horizon because we know that a kind of optimistic outlook can help improve mood um, we're not talking about this isn't going to um, benefit those people who are at the kind of harder end of, of affected maybe no, of by course. physiological but for those of us who it is just a recurrent thing yes I feel a bit down at this time of year so having a goal to look forward to is a good idea having a holiday on the horizon we know statistically lots of people book their holidays around this time of year and I think it is about having something positive to look forward to but the other thing you hit upon there as well is is mixing with your friends so so one of the things that can happen when we stop going out as much is we stop mixing with yeah. other people we and so we become more insular so having a reason to chat with your friends or to plan something together that can de that can definitely help and mental health issues it, it do are highlighted more at this time of year what do people what can they do to help what people can do to help themselves or do you, you yeah. need to go to professionals to help you well I think that's something that's a really good thing that comes out of the whole Blue Monday concept it gets us talking about mental health it destigmatizes it. it enables people to say, actually, yeah, I'm feeling really quite low. Maybe it's seasonal, maybe it's not. But the important thing is to talk about it. First of all, talk to somebody who you trust, someone who's perhaps close to you, who you feel you can open up to and who might be able to support you. But definitely do seek professional help. Speak to your GP in the first instance. OK, we're out of time. But the other one uh, short point that I wanted to, to clarify with you, and perhaps you can help uh, our viewers with this as well, is when people look on social media and they, they see see glossy lives and you know it's always smiling and sunny and you know that it that is not real life and mm. that's what people need to remember isn't it that's right I mean I always say that looking on social media is like looking at the moon it may look shiny but you're only ever seeing
being one side of it. And that's right, what I'm going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it's like when you see other people's lives, you're seeing the edited highlights. We all do it. You know, we post pictures of ourselves and later on we think, oh, actually, that was me at a good angle. So we all do that. So bear in mind that that's what you're seeing. It's not real. OK, it's good to talk to you. Thanks Thank very you. much indeed. If you'd seen my pictures on Friday, you perhaps wouldn't have viewed it as my best angle. <laughs> but there we go. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's too late now. Quick look at the weather.